Unless you've been living under a rock, I think you've heard about the new Ultra S boss, Nex. Nex drops a variety of very expensive in-game items. Your boy 6 one mil, as you know, isn't much of a PVMer, and these items upon release were all upwards of 300 mil plus. And I won't cap, your boy did not have enough GP to buy a single item that you're gonna see. But on the day of release, a blessing happened. A longtime friend and moderator of my Twitch chat, Author G, was nice enough to buy all of the new Next toys for me to play with. Today, you're gonna see me PKing with Torva plus the new Zarite crossbow. And for added protection, we're gonna bring along my Elijah Spirit Shield. We're going to be going into the wilderness with Risk. That is too much for RuneScape to calculate. Let's get it. But before we get into the content, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Sponsor? Who sponsored you? Today's sponsor of the video is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is available for your iPhone, Android, and also on your PC. If you enjoy games featuring turn-based combat, then check out Raid using my QR code or link in the description below. There's a new boss in town and its name is Hydra. The Hydra has six different heads and you need to watch out for the head of Blight. The head of Blight is nasty. This head poisons your team and leeches your stats to boost its own. The head of Blight can create a poison cloud which makes it super hard for your team to land attacks against the Hydra. You'll want to take him out first before he can shut down your entire team. The next head is the head of Wrath who hits harder as you hit him. After 15 hits, Wrath gets a triple damage buff, which makes your battle only harder. You've got to make sure you have the right champions when taking on Hydra, which brings me to my favorite aspect of Raid, the variety of choice in your champion. With such a wide range of champions and abilities, it's really up to you which path you decide to take. And better yet, the graphics and animations on each character are truly just next level. So what's new in Raid right now? If the biggest and baddest boss Hydra isn't enough for you, Raid, between now and January 28th, is releasing Simple's Limited Edition Champion, which is available free for both new and old players in Raid. All you have to do is log in for 7 days between now and January 28th, so don't miss out. There's seriously never a better time to get started, and if you use my link in the description or scan my QR code on the screen, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion, Rector Drake. 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, 1 ancient shard, shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. Thank you again for our spot. Let's get back to the video. So if you don't know what Torve is, let me catch you up real quick. It is basically upgraded Bandos, the best strength armor in the game on top of being very tanky as well. So in some of these clips, I was using the magic cape and that's what we started out here doing. Caught a mage cape on this PVM with a chain mace and check it out. So it's gonna be like that, huh, dick harp? Damn, he was smited, bro. I thought you were a rebuilder. No, brother, I'm a PKer. Oh, I couldn't click it fast enough. He had a cape switch and shit! He had a hit TB and a cape switch, he was baiting me! He was baiting me, bro. Only a mill loot, but sheesh! Alright, so next clip, I find this Scold Crossbower, and he starts fighting back, and it's pretty obvious that he is an anti picker but I obviously decided to take the risk. Okay. 
So he actually ended up pulling out an AGS after we got him down to just two hit points. Unfortunately, he did get away, but I figured I would just show this one anyways for that massive claw. Sponsors at Raid. Alright, so this next clip really does show the true power of the Torva. I saw this guy log in in his robes, and I was too tempted to not stack him out for full HP, so check it out. So yeah, unfortunate for that guy, he didn't even have time to put his prayers up, and we got his Staff of Dead, which totaled to be 14 mil worth of blue. Fuck it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. This gear is so sick, bro. It just like it looks so nice. It really does. Go oh, 2.1 mil. Let's go. Like every video that I do, there will be a 50 mil giveaway on this video. All you have to do is leave a like on the video and comment your RuneScape name. Liking the video also helps my channel grow. So not only will you be entering the giveaway, but you're going to help my channel grow as well. So thank you guys. Make sure you like and comment your RuneScape name to enter and I'll see you next time. So when you're hopping in over three bill worth of gear, it's no wonder that teams are going to try and bait you and i have a couple of amazing clips of teams trying to get their hands on my set Surprise, motherfucker. And I'll find my way, cuz, cuz it's love, real simple, and that's how it works. Oh, it's how I feel, real danger. This world ain't simple, but I'm strong, I know how to get out. And I'll find my way, cuz, cuz it's so, like always, got the last hit. Maneuvered our way around the rock and got the log out. Easy peasy. Oh, this is a bait, bruh. This guy rolls up on me and lets me TV him like that. Yeah, it's a bait. So this guy tries to pretend and act stupid as if he's not a bait. I sniffed it out almost immediately when I splashed my first TB and he didn't teleport. Uh, we get onto a clan bait and, well, here's what happened. Oh my gosh, bro, what a clever bait, man. So we get full TB'd by a guy that I knew was a bait. By the way, I guess I should mention I'm using a DDS at this point and the next clip as well. This can max a 49-49 DDS, so I decided to bring it out for a couple of attempts.
So there it is, 2811 DDS spec, and hit my suffering ended up killing him. And he dies right in front of his team, and we teleport away with 1.2 mil. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Well, he 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 actually wasn't with them. Oh my, bro! You really you really should not have fought me, bro. I I was trying to tell you before we fought that you really should should not have fought me. <laughs> All right, guys. So biggest kill of the video coming at the end. You know how it is. This guy comes up to attack me. Obviously baiting me for a team. Obviously in my live stream. It's pretty funny how this one plays out. Watching this clip back, it's so cringe how this guy pretends to not know what items I'm wearing or what gear I'm using when he's obviously in my stream and watching me live. No way, chat. He was there waiting for me. No way. What? He's an idiot. What are you doing, bro? How is this guy catching more entangles than I'm catching Frieza? Wait, they gave up? <laughs> Oh, you killed him! What? You killed him? What the f***? What the f***? Wait, what happened? I wasn't even watching. What the f***? No way! So let's run it back and see what happened. The nicest kill of the entire video actually wasn't even by me. This dude hit a double Gmall AGS whack on the dude that was trying to bait me and ended up taking him out for over a hundred mil worth of loot which i of course gave him a split of because he honestly did all the work guys this is the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed remember that you don't know what anyone else is going through so be kind to everybody here is the winner of last video's giveaway make sure that you comment and like this video so you could maybe win next week see y'all next time